What's going on everyone? Thanks for coming back and checking us out again. So today we are doing a cow panel arch trellis. And I know what you're thinking. Not another cow panel arch trellis video. I've seen a billion of these. Well, yeah, you probably have because they're super handy and they're awesome in the garden. But I think I might have a little twist on what I'm doing with mine that some people aren't doing. So maybe uh, you'll get a little something different out of mine and get different, different ideas. I don't know. If not, then it's just another cow panel trellis video that you've seen. Now, I do a lot of the stuff around here by myself. So I have to do things a little differently. I'm also in the city and I drive an SUV. I don't have a big truck. So you can see here, I have my cow panels. And I had to ratchet strap them together. Fold them in half so I could fit them in the back of my, uh, I got a Buick Rendezvous, right? So I had to get these in the back of the Rendezvous. Oh my goodness, it's Sherlock E. <laughs> what mystery are you solving today? Um, okay, what do you have there? The mystery of appearing balls. Oh, is that a color or something? What does that look like? Show the camera. They can't see what it looks like. I think I showed over here. Ooh, the mystery of the orange. The BB. I've seen one like this at you school. You have? At school? All right. Did you find any good clues yet? No, I looked on the porch where I found this. Ah. I couldn't find any more. No? I think you should go look underneath the bean tent. Because I think there might be some more over there. Maybe there's a good clue over there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what's this? He's caged up. <laughs> he's totally caged up. That's a perfect place for him. Because he's so wild and crazy sometimes. So like I was saying, I bungee these together. Fold them in half, basically. So I can fit them in the back of my car. Cause it's not very big. Now it's gonna put a little bend in it and I'll show you. So this one here, it had a little bend I couldn't really straighten out all the way, but it's fine for what I'm doing because it's gonna hold the shape. It's gonna hold an arch trellis type shape, which is what I need. And it'll work out. The other one's working fine. Things are climbing up it. Things are growing good. Coming out, Mr. Man? All right. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is undo these, and kind of bend them back a little bit so they're flat. Then I'm gonna show you uh, the next part of what I do with them. So I got my two eight foot cow panels, or handy panel, depending on what you call it. I got some double barred fence staples. I got inch and a half long. And I got all this stuff at uh, Tractor Supply. This is really all I need for it. Now, I know what you're saying. I'm gonna put two 18 foots together and make an arch. Why not just buy a 16 foot panel? I told you, I can't fit it in the back of my car. There's also another good reason I don't use 16 foot for this process. I have to do this by myself. Do you know how hard it is to control one of those 16 foot cow panels? It ain't easy. So I use two eight foots. And there's also another thing I do with them that I'll show you in a little bit. So first thing we're gonna do Now we got them secure at the bottom. And as you can see, I got two floppy tops over here, right? 
And that's where you need tie wraps. Magical little tool. I'm gonna curve the tops together. I'm gonna use these tie wraps to hold it together in place. And they'll last a long time. They're not gonna break apart too easy or anything. Before we do that, let me show you why I choose to do two different eight foot panels and not just one 16 foot for my arch. With my garden, everything is always changing and flowing and moving. I might not plant the same things in the same spot or I might wanna try a different experiment. So what I did was using tie wraps at the top to hold these two eight foot panels together, I can cut them apart. And I can take this panel and bend it down the other side and have a trellis over just one small bed as opposed to a trellis over a walkway. Now you might ask, why would you ever do that? Well, maybe I want to grow a tighter arch of something and use it as shade for another thing. Like maybe I want to try to grow cucumbers on this that aren't going to climb too crazy on me and I want to use them to shade out my spinach or something like that. So I like to give myself options to be able to do different things with the tools that I have out in my garden and the uses of them. If you make a static garden, you can only do so much with it and it's not always going to work. You know, like some things might not work one year to the next and you might want to change them up here and there. That's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. Let's go ahead and uh, secure these knocks across here. I'm going to put two two toward the front, two in the middle, and two at the end. And what I'll do is after I do that, I'll kind of pull these sides in as much as I can. And it'll kind of create that arch that we want, right? And I'm not a very tall guy, so they don't need to be super high for me to get under them. And the kids are really short, so they don't care at all. I like to take my side cutters and cut the excess off, make it look a little nicer. And there you have it folks. That's why I use two eight foot cattle panels to make my arch trellis. So I can keep my garden versatile. I think versatility is pretty good when it comes to your garden because you want to move stuff around and try different things and I really like to experiment so I'm definitely going to rearrange and reconfigure throughout the years on how I'm doing things. How'd your mystery go? Um, you led me to the jackpot dad. The jackpot? Four more! Mm -hmm. Do you want to know what they are? What are they? They're BBs. To the airsoft gun. Do you know why they're all over the place? Why? Well, because I like to use the airsoft gun to try to scare the squirrels away. There are squirrels in the garage? No, they just fall on the floor sometimes. They're really little. I know. They're hard for me to hold on to sometimes. But, I gotta um, load them into the little thing. Ding. Now, I really had to get this thing in today because. I got some kooka melons down here that I did not think would grow and they have grown like crazy and now they're kind of spreading out all over the floor of the garden which is not where I'd want them. I want them trellised up and I also planted some spaghetti squash in here that I'm hoping to will grow. I kind of doubt we're going to get any spaghetti squash off of it at this point in time because it's really small and it's beginning to get toward the end of August and I always try to push my luck I don't think luck is gonna work on my side for spaghetti squash but these kooka melons I still might get something off of them so I got to try to get these trellised up here climb in this new trellis so we can try to get them grown spreading out and maybe get some extra kooka melons out of them we do have a couple on this other trellis that we planted mmm yes can't wait to give that a try. Trying to get a good handful before I delve into them and eating them.
garden. First kooka melons. We got three of them here. We're all gonna try them. Hey, Mr. Man, you wanna try your kooka melon? Give him that one. It's a small one. Are you ready? Give that thing a try. Now I you know what yours? they call the. Cause they look like little watermelons. That's why. Check they... that out. So that's why they call them kooka melons. You show yours to cat. All right, come over here. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I don't know. I don't know how one. Mmm, not good. It tastes like a cucumber. It does. And I do like cucumbers. Is that good? What did you think? Is that good? Oh, he shook his head yes. He shook his head yes. It must be a winner. What did you think? Two thumbs up. I think we are growing kooka melons next year for sure. Maybe more than we grew this year. Daddy. What? Oh my goodness. Toes and thumbs up. <laughs> Bam! Garden win. <laughs> I'll tell everybody to see you later. Bye. See you till next time. Check you later. See you later. Uh-oh. Oh, get over here and say bye. Get over here and say bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Catch you next time. <laughs>